So today, using Photoshop Elements, I'm going to walk you through how to quickly and easily make your own photo collage. I love using photo collages as a fun way to put together a memento from a vacation or a special occasion. It gives me the opportunity to display several pictures all at once. Okay, so to go ahead and get started, we need to populate our photo bin. So you wanna open the photos that you are going to use in your collage. I just have a handful selected from our recent vacation. You will need at least eight photos. The collage will populate eight photos in. And so you, I have a few extra in case I want to swap some out. You want to make sure none of your photos are selected and then move on to the collage step. Under the Create tab, pick Photo Collage. And here you're going to decide what size to make your collage. I'm picking 12 by 12 because my frame is a square, but you can think about your project and how you're going to display it and pick the size that will work best for you. Click OK and the magic starts. You can see that it's starting to generate the collage. It's working and doing everything for me, which is so great. It's taking my pictures and dropping them right in and doing all of that background work. So easy. And there you have it, it's all together. Now at this point, you can customize your collage and it's really easy to do. As I mentioned, I have several pictures in my photo bin and the collage only takes eight. So for example, this photo that has two um, faces in it, one's not showing, so that might not be the best for there. I can go ahead and take one from my photo bin, click and drag and just place it on top of the picture that I want to replace and it's replaced. You can drag to recenter the image like so. Let's see. I think I'll put the sunset one down here simply because I'm going to put some text on the bottom and I don't want to cover those faces up of those boys. So I can move them up to this one like so. So that's how you can drag and drop to really customize your collage. Once a photo is selected, like this one I just dropped in, there is a slider where you can back out or you can zoom in on a photo. So if you'd like to get a little bit closer, you can go ahead and do that. Another way you can customize your collage is if you select an, a photo, you can drag around its positioning and change that as well. So there's lots of ways, ways to customize how you're making your collage. For example's sake, we're just gonna go ahead and leave this as is. Um, the next thing I want to do is to print some text on my collage so I can remember where this memento is from. To do that, you're going to go into advanced mode, which is up here in the left-hand corner. Click on that. And I want to make a background for my text. And so I'm going to click the shape tool. I'm going to choose a rectangle. I'm already set on white. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw my white rectangle out here and I can reposition later if I need to. But that's, that's about where I want it. And then next I'm going to click the text tool and you can just write, um, let's size it down just a little bit, um, where your memento was, whether it was a birthday or a vacation. For this, we went to Moose Creek Lodge in 2017. Okay, so I can go ahead and position that text where I would like it. And I love having a white bar behind it to make the text really stand out. That adding text is that easy. Once you have your collage the way you want it and the text added on the way you want it, you can go ahead and save your collage. So you're gonna push the save button and you can title it um, whichever you would like to title it and save it where you want to put it. You can either save it as a project or you can save it as a PDF, which is what I'm going to choose. Once you save it, you can go ahead and print it from home or take your image into a print shop. And once you have printed your collage, you can display it however you would like. Or For me, I put it in a frame. I would love to have a wall of framed collages from all the vacations that we've been in in the past. I'd love to hear about how you guys would display your collages that you've created with Photoshop Elements.